Quillet Flood was a beautiful 17-year-old girl, a senior at Campus High School in East Orange, and she planned to go to college to study fashion and had just been voted by her peers to be the prom queen. But Aquila was found dead in her home with a gunshot wound to her head, allegedly from a fight between her ex-boyfriend just days before the prom, so she was never crowned prom queen. Friends shared with me that her family actually buried her in her prom dress, and a year later, the family, they still grieve, and I attended a candlelight vigil called Aquila's Promise to honor her memory and to promote domestic violence awareness. We lit candles, we took a moment of silence, and actually the group broke into a song of hope. Her father and mother, they spoke about the difficulty of living through such a tragedy. It's actually like a double-edged sword to me, because I appreciate and I love everybody coming out showing support, but it was also like a form of salt in the womb, so too. And I don't think a father ever had to go through this type of pain. And her mother showed me a tattoo on her arm of Aquila's name with bees around it because Aquila's grandmother lovingly used to call her Aquila Bee. Now, according to the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, 25% of women in the United States will become victims of domestic violence in their lifetime. And I spoke with Asia Smith. She's the founder of Purple Rain Social Services, and she shared for me the unfortunate picture of domestic violence here in New Jersey, especially for African-American women. As it relates to domestic violence, here in New Jersey, we have over 70,000 reported incidences of domestic violence. And unfortunately, African American women have the highest domestic violence homicide rates than any other ethnicity in the state. And Asia shared with me that, especially amongst young girls, it often goes unreported or underreported. What a terrible, terrible tragedy. Killa's mom went public saying that she had been trying to get rid of this guy for months. He'd been threatening her for months. So as much as I feel terrible for her family, it's a tragedy and it needs to be talked about. Is there any parental responsibility to say to your teenage daughter, hey, hold on, you're, if you're being threatened, you got to report this and maybe parents should get more involved. Well, allegedly, this was her ex-boyfriend at the time. He wanted to go to the prom with her and she didn't want him there, but he allegedly snuck into the home and killed her. So it shows that many times you can't control the situation. And the important thing that they wanted to bring home at this vigil was about starting the conversation and also extending it to our youth and to young girls and young boys as well because you have to have that conversation unfortunately at a much younger age than many people realize. <laughs>